Hello everyone and welcome to another reading class. Today we're gonna be reading a brand new story called Mighty Jackie the Strikeout Queen, written by Marisa Mas and illustrated by F. C. Payne. So we have here the new story about this girl that she really, really loves baseball. A different story than the ones that you have read before because it's a biography. So a biography is the story about another person, like me writing about Miss Carol or me writing about any person that I know, a famous person. A biography is tell us about other person's life. So this story is a biography, so that's a year of the story. So we're gonna start looking at the uh, cover of the story. In the cover of the story you see Jackie, she's the main character and she loves playing baseball. So we're gonna go to the next page which is the first page with actually paragraph and we're gonna be reading it. It was April 2nd 1931 and something amazing was about to happen. In Tarragona, Tennessee, two teams were about to play an exhibition game of baseball. Exhibition games means when you don't have like a competitive game, it's just for fun. One day, the New York Yankees, a legendary team with famous players like Babe Roth, Lou Herring, and Tony Lazzetti. The other was the Chattagona Lookouts, a small thing and nothing team, except for the pitcher, Jackie the Mighty. So Jackie was the pitcher. She was the pitcher of the team. So she was a girl. Remember this because it's really relevant in the story. Mighty Jackie was young, only 17 years old, but that was not what made people sit up and take notice. Jackie was a girl and everyone knew the girls didn't play Major League Baseball. Mm. The New York Daily News sneers that she would swing a mint lipstick instead of a bat. A reporter wrote that, sh that you might as well have a train seal behind the plate as have a woman standing there. But Jackie was not training seal. She was a pitcher in a mighty one. The question was, was she good enough to play Agus in the New York Yankees? Hmm, have you ever felt underestimate? Which means that you can do things, but people think that you can't do it. That's underestimate. So in this case, they were underestimating Jackie because she's really good at what she does, but nobody believes because she's a girl. So we're gonna go to page number 62. I'm gonna be reading this small part and I will read for you. As long as she could remember, Jackie had played ball with her father. She knew girls weren't supposed to. All the kids at school, all the boys in the neighborhood told her that. When one boy yelled at another one, you throw like a girl. It was an insult. Everyone knew girls couldn't throw or that's what they thought. But, so that's rude because girls can do things that boys can do and boys can do things that girls can do. So it doesn't need to be like that. You can do whatever things you set for you to do. Everything you want to do, you can do it. In this case, she wanted to play baseball, but the people thought that she couldn't because she was a girl. Hmm. So, the assignment for today, guys, you are going to draw the cover of the story and in your notebook. You're going to draw it and you have to add the elements that you found, which is the title of the story, author, and the illustrator of the story. So, draw all these first elements that we saw and we're going to continue in the next class. And don't forget to take a picture and send it to me. See you.